everybody, welcome back to Truly Outrageous. I'm Neil, and today we're doing a video for all the dog lovers out there. That's right, we received a request from Emma Bitsko Barber, and she would like us to draw a Labrador Retriever. So that's what we're gonna do. But before we get into that, a special announcement. Starting on this video here, every Monday and Thursday, I'm gonna be posting a new how to draw video on the channel. So be sure to go down and hit the subscribe button and slap that bell so you're not missing one of those. Also, it'll help support the channel here in our goal for March to reach 1,200 subscribers. And don't forget to spread the word about Truly Outrageous as well. Tell your mom, your dad, your brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, half-brothers, half-sisters, your dog especially, your cat, anybody in the whole world. Tell them how much fun you're having here and how you're learning how to draw. All right, enough of that. Let's get into drawing a Labrador Retriever. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this drawing, I'm gonna need a piece of paper. You're going to need a drawing utensil. I'm using a marker, but feel free to use whatever is most comfortable to you, and that might be a ballpoint pen or a pencil or a crayon. Um, and then when we get to the coloring step, this is the color palette that I'm using. I am making my Labrador a chocolate Labrador. So feel free to copy that. If not, make your own colors. There's yellow ones, there's black ones, there's spotted ones, so feel free to go wild on the coloring step. First step, we're gonna draw the top of the Labrador's head. And the top of the Labrador's head is kind of flat, so we're gonna just draw a line. It goes like this. Just a straight line across, like so. Then we're gonna come down a little bit and we're gonna put the nose on our doggy here. So it's just a V shape that and Labradors have kind of a big schnoz so we're gonna come up and around and over like that with the nose and then we'll color it in because that'll save us some time on the coloring step so I'll just color a little bit like this and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space open here on the top because I'm gonna make my dog's nose nice and shiny okay now we're gonna draw the dog's eyes so they're just kind of little ovals. So we'll start right here, like that. Put another one on the other side, similar place, uh, place excuse me, like that. And then we'll do the underside, like that. And the underside, like that. And then we'll color in a little bit of um, the eye just leave a little bit of it open so that we can color it in when we get to the coloring step. Um, the dog we're drawing today, we're kind of at a viewpoint that's far away from the dog, so I don't want to put too much detail into the eyes because you'll sort of lose, it'll just be a black eye. Next, we're going to draw the upper lip. So that's just a straight line down like this here. And Labradors have kind of a, more of a rounded snout. Their, their jowls on top or their lips on top don't tend to hang over as much as other dogs. So it's just gonna be a slight diagonal line like that on both sides. Then we're gonna draw the rest of the upper lip. So that's just gonna come up like this to about there. Same thing on this side, draw that up to about there. And labs have a smile line, which is kind of funny because when they open their mouth real wide, they have smile lines. So we're gonna draw those in because I like happy dogs. Draw that there. It's a little curved line like that. If you guys have dogs out there, let me know their names in the comments section. I'd like to know. Our dog's name here is Punky. And she is a boxer pug mix, which is really kind of funky, but she is the most perfect dog there was, so. Okay, next step, we're gonna draw the doggy's tongue. So that's gonna go like this. Just a little line like that. And then their dog's tongues kind of have like a lighter end to them. So we'll make it a little bit bulbous at the end there, a little wider at the end there, and then it'll come around to that line that we drew originally. And then we'll just put a line in the middle to indicate that line in the tongue. 
Next, we're gonna draw the top part of the lower jaw. So that's just a curved line down like this to there, and then a curved line up to there. And we're gonna color that space in black. And that's the inside of the doggy's mouth. Next, we're gonna draw the underside of the jaw, the lower jaw. And that's just a line starting here. It's really kind of close to the other lines we drew. So the bottom part of the upper jaw and the bottom part of the, or the top part, excuse me, of the lower jaw. So that's a curved line down like that. And then another curved line from this side down to there. It's our happy little dog. Next, we're gonna draw the ears. So we're gonna start like this. We're gonna draw a small curved line up like this on this side. Same thing on this side, small curve up like this. Then we're gonna draw another curved line that goes down and out like that. Down and out like that. So you can kind of see where the ears are gonna go, right? Then we're gonna draw a curved line like this to here. Same thing on this side. Curved line on this side to here. A little further there. And then we'll curve another line the opposite direction out like that a little bit. Same thing on this side. Curve that out like that. And then we will take another curved line and come back into the face here. So we'll curve all the way up and stop right there. Same thing on this side. We'll curve all the way up and stop on that side. And then to accent him, we're gonna give him some whisker spots. So go one here, one here, one here, and one here. So four little dots on that one side, same thing on the other side, on there, on there. Just to indicate the whiskers. Next, we're gonna draw his neck, or her neck. It can be a her. My dog's a her. All right, so we're gonna draw the neck down out like this, because they have like a little like baggy piece of skin below their jaw. And we're gonna curve the line out like this to about here. So out like that. It's almost a diagonal line, just a slight, slight curve. And then we're gonna take that curve and keep it going all the way up to the top, like that. Next, we're gonna draw the collar. So that's just gonna come out over here like this. And then we're gonna draw another line down over there. So this kind of, the, the neck skin right here kind of folds over the collar. Okay, and now we're gonna draw the back. So the back is gonna come out like this, stops there. And it's more of a straight line down to the bottom. And then a little bit out like this. And down like that. So he's kind of he's in a sitting position. Okay, next we're gonna draw a part of the chest. So that's gonna start about here. That's gonna be a curved line. I'm gonna keep that going. And I'm gonna stop right there. Then we're gonna draw the, what is this? The right leg, the right front leg. So it's gonna be starting at about right here. We're gonna curve a line in like this, stop. Then we're gonna take another line here, curve that down and stop. So that's the like shoulder part of the dog. And then we're just gonna draw a straight line down to about here. Maybe a little further. Same thing on this side, we're gonna draw a line. Now these two almost come to a point. You can kind of see how that drives in like that. So, and then you're gonna stop right there. Next we're gonna draw the foot. So the foot's gonna come out here. Angle like this. Same thing on this side. Angle like this. And it's gonna be just a little line like this. And same thing on this side, a little line like that. And we're gonna go like this, out just a bit like that, and over like that. Whoops, straighten that out for you guys. 
Okay, then we're gonna indicate the toe with just a couple lines, or the toes, I should say, with a couple lines. So you're just gonna come up like this and over and like that. And then again on this side, up and over. So there's the doggy paw. Next, we're gonna draw the other leg on this side. So this one's gonna come out from about here. I'm gonna curve that line out like this, stop. Then you're gonna drop that down in a straight line like that, so there. And then you're gonna draw another straight line, it's kind of similar to what we did over here. It almost comes to a point, but then we're gonna stop there. And then since we're looking at this one from the side, we're gonna draw an angle line like this and stop there. And a slight angle like this, but then we're gonna pull the line out like that. And we're gonna square that off with another diagonal line like that. And then we'll just cover that up on the bottom like so. One last line here on the foot to indicate the toes. And draw like that. Next, we're gonna do the uh, back legs, the rear legs. So that's gonna start at about here. It's gonna pull up like this. We're gonna curve it over like this. It's gonna come back down, a little bit of a curve like that. And we're gonna stop there. And then we're gonna pick this up right at about here. We're gonna draw a line down like this. Make sure that we're watching the ground line here. A little bit of an angle there. And we're gonna pull this oh, all the way over, trying to make it as straight as possible here. Pull this all the way over like that, and you're gonna stop at about there. You're gonna draw a diagonal, small diagonal line up, because we're sort of mirroring this foot over here, because they're the you know, roughly the same size. And then we're gonna draw the line back this way to there. So it's almost like a like a number two or a Z, right? Um, and then we're gonna pull this line down to connect it to here. So we've got the back leg that's folded down and these lines that we just drew are indicating that position. All right, and then we're gonna continue drawing the underside of the dog here. So we're just gonna draw this line down into here. It straightens out a bit here because the chest, the rib cage is right there and kind of cuts off. But then it's gonna come down, curve, and then all the way into that other foot. Next, we're gonna draw the other leg that's kind of hiding on the other side of the dog. Just pull line out like that. Angle down like so. And I'll pull this line across like that. Then we'll indicate the toes on the rear paws. Just a couple lines, one like this, and another one like that. Then we will continue the back side here, which will just come down to the ground like so. And then we'll pull that across like that. Make sure that my line doesn't look super chunky. There we go. And I'm running out of a little bit of space over here, but that's okay, I'm gonna add a tail regardless. My tail is gonna be pointed straight up because he's a happy guy, right? Curve up a line like that, curve. And then you're gonna curve that line back down in like that. There's your line of work done for your Labrador. And now it's time for the gratuitous, cringeworthy, slightly annoying dad joke. Okay, which US state is famous for its extra small soft drinks? Minnesota. All right, let's move on to our coloring step and we'll do this as fast as a Labrador runs, starting now. All right, there it is, your fully colored Labrador Retriever. Mine's chocolate, what's yours? Is yours a golden one? Is it black? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Remember, we're trying to reach 1200 this month in March. And don't forget to spread the word about Truly Outrageous. But most of all, don't forget to have a great day wherever it is you are. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.